Hey guys, I got something in the mail today that I thought I'd share with you. So let's get it open and see what it is. Okay, I've got it open and it is a 1917 D on the obverse Walking Liberty half dollar. It's kind of beat up and it's got a big dent there, but it looks a lot better than I thought it would. So I'm happy about it. The date is very clear. The mint mark is very clear. And I got it for a good deal. So I am extraordinarily happy with this. And I didn't have one, so I'll take it. All right, well, I should be uh, getting something else in the mail uh, pretty soon. So I'll uh, combine this with that. And uh, until then, we'll see you next time. Hey guys, I swung by my uh, local coin shop the other day and uh, just rummaged through some of their quarters for a little bit. I, I had to hurry though because they were closing. But um, I picked up a few that I needed for my album, so I thought I'd just share them with you real quick. I got a 1960 out of Philly, which I needed. I got a 1945 out of Philly as well that I needed for my second set. I got a 1943 out of San Francisco. I got a 1938 out of Philly. I got a 1936 out of San Francisco. And a 1934 out of Philly. I think the 34 I already had, but it was so old, I was I just wanted to grab it. So let me get out my album real quick, um, and we'll see what I can plug in. All right, I've got my album out, and uh, the only one I was able to add to here was the 1960, but the upside is that is the last of the 60s I needed. So I'm, I'm done with the 50s too, so I only have one more in the 40s. And then just in the 30s, and this will be done. It's looking great. And then uh, I have another album here, which is my dad's old album. And I was able to add. I did have the 34 already, so let's have a have a du have this duplicate now. But I got a 34 there. I added the 36s. I added the 38. And I added the 43S, I believe, and the 45P, uh, I think it was, 45 out of Philly. And then that was it. That's all I added here. But this is looking good, too. This one's going to take me a while to fill it up, but we'll get there. All right, well, thanks for watching. I'm not sure which... Uh, video I'll tack this on to, but probably a quarter hunt or something like that. Alright, well thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, we're back with a mail call here. I got a couple things in the mail of things I purchased, so let's get them open and see what they are. All right, I've got them both open. Let's start with this one. It is a large scent, an 1848 large scent, and it is in great shape. The date is super clear on the bottom. It is a little worn up here at the top, but there's no corrosion or anything like that. And the back looks fantastic, look at that. Sorry, the lighting is kind of hard to get just right. But I, I am really happy with this purchase. I think I paid something like 10 bucks for it, which I think is reasonable. But I'm happy with it, so it doesn't really matter what it's worth, right? As long as you're happy with it. But it's cool. I love this. 
All right, let's get to the other uh, the other envelope. Man, that looks good. I'm really happy with that. All right, I'll be right back with the other envelope. Okay, I've got it open, and it is a Barber Dime. It's a 1900 out of Philly. Now, I believe I already have this coin, but it was in really good shape, and it was a really good deal, so I thought I'd buy it. And we'll see if it's an upgrade. It may not be. That's okay if it isn't. But uh, it was in good shape. It was a good enough price too, so I don't mind having duplicates. All right, well, let's get my album out real quick and take a look at that. Okay, I've got the album out, um, and I just looked at it. Here's my 1900 right here. This one is definitely an upgrade. That one is quite worn, and that one is worn, but nowhere near as much as that one. So I'll, I'll switch them out real quick. Okay, I switched it out, and it looks a lot better. I put the uh, 1900 right here towards the end with all my duplicates. So that'll just sit there for now until I have a better place uh, to put put my duplicates but anyhow um, that'll be it for this I know I have a bunch coming that will uh, fill in a lot of holes so we'll get to that shortly all right we'll catch you on the next mail call